Hey, it's Danny from Prime Coaching, and today I'm gonna to take you through some fun balloon activities that you can practice on your own, great for your coordination. Now, these are great for kindergarten through to grade two or three. If you need the ideas written down, I've included them in a free resource. You can download them in the links below. Now, each of these activities you can run as a warm-up session at the end, a little bit in between, do them for about a minute before moving on to the next one. So, let's get straight into it. So to start with, we're just gonna do some simple tapping in the air with just one hand at a time with one balloon. So very easy, just keeping that ball up in the air. With one hand, don't let it touch the ground. Now once you're getting good at just tapping it, you're gonna try and sit down and then stand back up. So just very carefully tap that ball using your left and right hand. And then once you're sat on your bum, try and stand back up again. I'm gonna go one more here. All the way on your bottom. Oh. And standing back up. And now you can try with two balloons at the same time, using both your left and right hand to keep them up in the air. And you can count how many you can do before one of them hits the ground. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, staying low, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and I got it. Try and do it without them touching the ground. Now you've got to try just tapping it up with one hand whilst balancing on the other leg. So I'm going to balance on my left leg, meaning I can only use my right hand to tap it up. If I have to move around, I can hop. Just try and stay on one leg and tap it up. If you're getting good at that, you can switch legs. So now I'm gonna go on my right leg and I'm gonna use my left hand to try and tap it. Keeping it up, don't let it hit the ground. Now we're gonna try and keep the balloon up using different body parts. And we're gonna do 10, we're gonna count down from 10. So to start with, I'm gonna do it on my head. So I'm gonna count down from 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna do our shoulders, left and right shoulders. Here we go, counting down from 10. 10, nine, eight, it's a bit of a funny one. Seven, six, five, use the top of your shoulders. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, next one, elbows only left and right. Counting down from 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, it's quite an easy one. One, and that's elbows. Last one on your knees, alternating left and right knee. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Maybe you guys can use some other body parts as well to try to keep it up. Now we're gonna hit the balloon up high into the air, as high as we can, and we're gonna do some different things. So first up, you're gonna hit the balloon high into the air, you gotta quickly spin around, and then catch it before it hits the ground. Here we go, ready? Nice and easy. You can hit it really high into the air. Spin, maybe you can even catch it with one hand. Spin the other way. Catch, let's go one more here. And catch. The next one you can do, you gotta heat it up. You gotta to quickly touch the ground with both hands and then catch that balloon. Here we go. Touch. You gotta be a lot quicker here. Give it a good hit. If you're getting good at that, you can even keep going without catching it. Hit it up, touch, hit it up. 
Try and keep that balloon off the ground. The next one is a jump turn. So you're gonna hit the balloon up, you've got to be very quick. We're gonna jump to face the other way, and you're gonna jump back and then catch it. Here we go, ready? Jump, jump back, and catch. We're jumping off of both feet, landing on both feet. Awesome. I'm gonna go the other way now. One more here. The last one we're gonna do, hitting it up nice and high. We're gonna jump up and catch it as high as we can. So hit the balloon high into the air, catch it as high as you can in the air, landing safely on both feet. Here we go, nice and high. And, oh, big jump, I jumped a little early there. Here we go. And catching it safely with two hands, landing on both feet. Hit it high enough there. Let's get two more here. One more. There we go. Now we're gonna hit the balloon up as high as we can, and we're gonna clap as many times as we can before the balloon hits the ground. So you've got to count as you clap. Hit it nice and high. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. So you've got to clap really fast. Hit it nice and high. Catch it as low as you can before it hits the ground. If it hits the ground, it doesn't count. Here we go again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, 18. I'm going to try and get 20. Here we go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 9, 20. Oh, just got it before it hit. I've got a tricky one for you guys now. We are going to throw the balloon with two hands over our head, and we're gonna try and catch it behind our back before it hits the ground. This is a fun one, but it's not easy. Here we go. Throw it up over your head, and try and catch it with two hands. Here we go. Oh. Yes, I got it. Here we go, two more. Move into position. You can use your bum to help move around. Let's go one more here. Right. Oh. And I got it. Now you're gonna put the balloon between your knees. Don't squeeze too hard, otherwise it's gonna pop. And we're gonna try and jump around just like that. So, I squeeze too hard. Put it between your legs and we're gonna jump around sports court lines on both feet. Here we go. If you squeeze too hard, you're gonna pop the ball like I just did, or the balloon. Use your arms to swing, jumping like a kangaroo. You can even jump backwards as well, along the lines, watching out for everyone else. And that's that one. Now we're gonna do some basketball skills with the balloon. So, legs a little wider than the shoulder width apart, holding the balloon with two hands. We're gonna throw it down and bounce it on the ground. You've gotta really throw it hard so it bounces up high. There we go. Once you're getting good at that, you can then just use one hand and we're gonna hit it almost like we're bouncing a basketball. You can hit it one hand at a time Switching your left and right hand. Giving it a good slap with your fingertips. See if you can do it with just one bounce. See how high you can get it up onto the ground. If it stops, you can just pick it up and go again. You can even jump and hit it. Good fun. And then the last basketball skill we're gonna do is our shooting. So with your strong hand, you've got to put it in the middle behind the balloon and your other hand on the side. 
And now you can see my elbows tucked in. I'm gonna use my legs. I'm gonna extend my whole hand like I'm shooting and then catch the balloon in the air. So we're doing a basketball shot now. So with your strong hand, extend your elbow and catch it. So you can see my elbow is bent here. I'm gonna push it high and then catch like the basketball players. Go a few more here. So you can either use your right hand or your left hand, whichever one's your strongest hand. Mine is my left hand. Here we go, two more. Shoot. My elbow is bent, I'm gonna straighten it. And that's basketball. Now for some soccer skills. We're gonna start with punt or drop kicks. So holding the balloon out with both hands, you're gonna drop it and then you're just gonna kick into the air. When you kick, I want you to kick with the laces part of your foot, not your toes, but the laces part of your foot. Drop kicks or punt kicks, here we go. Holding with two hands, let go and kick it before it hits the ground. You can swing your leg right back, swing it all the way back. Do a big kick and make sure you practice with both your left and right feet. Once you're getting good at that, don't catch it, but just keep going, keep kicking it without letting the balloon hit the ground. So now my lace is part of my feet, remember? Just gonna keep that ball up in the air. nice and carefully. You can even try, do some amazing tricks, like stepping over it. You can even shoulder it. Try not to let it touch the ground. And the last one you're gonna do for soccer, you're gonna put the balloon on the ground. You're gonna take a little bit of a run up, and you're gonna kick it as hard as you can. It's not gonna go far, because it's just a balloon. So you can practice some big kicks with a little bit of a run up. Swing your leg back and kick it as hard as you can. Should go into the air. Let's go one more here with my right foot. And that's the soccer. Next up is our volleyball skills. So we're gonna first practice our digs with the balloon. Now a dig we put both our hands up nice and straight, palms up to the ceiling. You're gonna put one hand on top of the other and put both your thumbs together. That is the volleyball dig. We're gonna try and keep the balloon up, hitting it on our forearms. So, throw the ball up, step and dig like a volleyball. So now your volleyball players, nice straight arms, step, and keep that balloon up with both arms at the same time. Fantastic. Nice and high into the air. Next one is volleyball sets. Now we are going to set the ball by making a big diamond with our hands, fingers nice and spread, and then just spread that diamond a little bit. These are my setting hands. So now I'm gonna throw the balloon high and I'm gonna push it as high as I can with both hands high into the sky. So now we're doing volleyball sets. Push it high. Try not to catch it. I'm just gonna jump and push high into the sky. Volleyball sets. You can even do a dig in a set. Volleyball superstars. Awesome. And now we're just gonna do some serves for volleyball. So you're gonna get yourself a hoop. You can share the hoop between two or three people. Now you're gonna take one, two big steps away from the hoop. And now you're gonna throw the balloon up. You're gonna give it a big high five. We're doing overarm serves. We're gonna try and see if we can get the balloon to land in the hoop. Ready? Throw the balloon up. Big high five. Is it gonna land? No. Kick 
Okay, I'm gonna try again, here we go. Big high five, yes, it landed in the hoop. I get a point, here we go. Two big steps back, throw it up. Oh, I missed that one. We got one more here from the other side. Throw it up, big high five. Yes, and then get another point. That is the volleyball skills. Okay, now for a bit of tennis. You can use a tennis racket or I've got a paddle here from my PE shed. With my balloon, we're just gonna start by tapping it up into the air. Keeping it nice and controlled. Bit of tennis skills. If you're getting good already, if you're able to do that, you can switch hands. So you can practice with your left and right hand just to keep that balloon up. Now a super hard challenge for you. You're gonna tap it. You're gonna go all the way around the balloon and tap it again. See if you can do that really quickly. Every time you tap it, go all the way around it. Practice with your left and right hand. Awesome. Next one you can do is your tennis swings. So we're gonna do forehand and also backhand as well. So throw the tennis ball balloon up, forehand, backhand, keeping it in the air. When you swing, swing from low to high. Bit of tennis. There we go. Last one we can do also do is some tennis ball bouncing. So with the balloon, you're just gonna bounce it on the ground. This is a little bit harder. Gonna give it a good, a good whack. Practice both your left and right hand. If it stops, just get it again. And keep going. And that's the tennis skills. Now you're gonna be using a long foam noodle. So with your balloon, you're gonna put it down on the ground. We're gonna practice first some golf swings. So standing side on, both hands, on the noodle club. We're gonna swing it all the way back. And try and swing through as hard as you can. We're now practicing our golf. So here we go. Nice straight arms, swing back. Let's go one more here. Try to hit it as hard as you can. Standing. Feet ready, knees bent, swing as hard as you can. And now we can also try some noodle fencing. So now this is our fencing sword. We're gonna hold it at the end. We're gonna throw the balloon up. And we're just gonna try and poke it, okay? Keeping it up and then poke it. It's not easy. Try and poke that balloon. Holding the noodle at the end, doing a bit of fencing. You can hit it high. And that's some things you can do with a noodle. So hopefully you enjoyed those activities today. Let me know in the comments below if there are any particular activities or challenges that you have that I haven't shown yet. I'd love to hear some new ideas. If you like these ideas, make sure you check out my Kindergarten to Grade 2 Complete PE Resource Pack. In there, I've got over 100 skills and games, lesson plans, drills, everything you need to teach and develop on your kindergarten sports fundamental skills. I've also got a specific equipment challenge pack that you can download where I use different equipment like hoops and noodles and cones and exercise balls in fun different ways that your students can practice and work through individually. Check those out in the description below and I'll see you next time for some more PE.